Welcome to video number two, where we will discuss HACCP principle number one, which is to conduct a hazard analysis. Through this hazard analysis, we need to identify the steps in the process where significant food safety hazards are likely to occur. It's important that we keep in mind only significant hazards, as these are those that are reasonably likely to cause injury or illness if not effectively controlled. In the hazard analysis, there are two steps that we need to take. The first is the hazard identification, which can basically be thought of as a brainstorming session. Through this hazard identification, we will develop a list of all potential hazards that may be associated with that food. We would then review everything from the ingredients, the activities that are conducted at each step of processing, the equipment used, the final product itself, as well as any historical events that are associated with that particular product. For the hazard evaluation, we will determine which hazards must be addressed. And this is thought of in both the severity of the occurrence as well as the likelihood of the occurrence. When conducting a hazard analysis, we need to think about each step throughout the processing of that food product and where potential hazards might come into play. We can do this by using a flow diagram. By analyzing this flow diagram, we can think about each step that a food product takes during the production process. The where and how hazards could come into play would be answered by evaluating this flow diagram through the hazard analysis process. So hazards that are reasonably likely to cause injury or illness if not controlled are those significant hazards that we want to focus on. These hazards can either be naturally occurring in the food itself, contributed by the environment, are generated by mistake within the food product. There are three classifications of hazards. The first is biological, which includes bacteria, yeasts and molds, parasites, and viruses. These hazards are the ones that we're most concerned with in food products as they have the most significant food safety impact. The other classification of hazards is chemical. These include pesticide residues, cleaning chemicals, antibiotic residues, excessive use of restricted ingredients such as sodium nitrite, or the utilization of non-permissible ingredients or those ingredients that do not have generally recognized safe status. The final classification of hazards is physical. These would be things like hair, stones, glass, mechanical equipment such as nails, nuts, and bolts, stems and seeds, bone fragments or feathers, as well as jewelry and strings. The majority of chemical and physical hazards, unlike biological, will be addressed within the prerequisite programs, such as GMPs, SOPs, or SSOPs. Exceptions to this would be if we have a product that is packaged in glass or a glass jar, the physical hazard of glass should be addressed within the HACCP plan. Additionally, allergens may or may not be part of the HACCP plan, depending on how the HACCP program is set up.